Well, hello, this is Jimmy, this is Total Nari Channel, and we are here again in MechWarrior 4. And we have Cauldron Born 69, how perverted. And we are going for mob battles at Solaris because we were. <laughs> We were the worst pilots ever um, in, um, yes, the circuit, kind of, before. Where is my cauldron born? What? There it is! Haha! -ha! Fantastic! Uh, all hail Steiner, let's go! Let's launch, it's actually more correct. <laughs> Well, indeed. You know what time it is, Solaris fans? Oh, yeah. Factory time. Duncan Fisher here. It's a fine day in Montenegro, as long as you stay clear of the arena. People are piled in to see the latest match of the heavy season. Oh, yeah. We have some great mech action in store today. And this is insane. This mech is really cool. It is it's so super nice time, at uh, close, long range, I mean. Close range, I mean. Uh... Because it's namely so that we have some really nice lock-on missiles. We don't have any jump jets. Uh, but we also kind of have some really cool the competition is um, Clan LBXAC-20. That's basically shotgun cannon. He's versatile, has a good head on his and shoulders, and he is by far the favorite tonight. But this is Solaris, so you can never tell who the last man standing will be. It's looking like we have a good game going on. In heavy mech matches, man. you really see the full gamut of the heavy weapons. You have your auto cannons, PPCs, lasers, and Gauss rifles. I never get tired of watching a Gauss rifle slug launch. Those things pack a heck of a punch. Some medium matches manage to pack a few of those bad boys on. But you got a lot of ordnance flying in heavy matches. Boom! Bam! The battle looks to be mostly about cover. There have been some bad shots. Good defense and good movement. Wow. It makes for a longer game, but it shows off some good piloting. Although some of those guys could use some practice with their Man, covering. we need some new we need to target this other one to know how damage is. Oh no. Uh, and we seem to have not too much uh, ability to strafe very good. Come on. There goes our favorite of the game. Well, oh really? Is live Solaris. It's unpredictable and fast, and you can never tell who's gonna come out on top. Two heavy contenders. Mira Stewart. Mira, you're going down. Ouch. Bam. This shotgun is I love the shotguns. I'm mean, they're so cool at close range. Okay. So now we found ourselves a mech that we're more comfortable in. You can see here, we even have some nice views. And we can use our shotgun sideways if our torso would be too damaged. And what is this? A dragon. Ooh, mounting some gausses right there. Oops. Watch. Whoops. Oh no. Oh no. No! I missed! Mad cat. That mad cat is so damaged. We could blow it up. And... No. No, 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 no. Basically, just throw some missiles in there. Come on. Boom. Oh no, what ammunition? Okay, we still have the... Uh, the, the nice stuff. The uh, shotguns. And now, this is a... This is a... What is it called? A, a mech with reflective armor. So it's kind of good against uh, our shotgun shots, actually. There we got a really good shot at the torso. 
we want some info about the exact values right there but I mean they still do kind of much damage nice a nice half alpha strike there okay and we have some really slow movements in the sideways here um, that we're trying to or basically it's me that's not too good <laughs> I'm not too good using the heavy mechs because they are generally kind of slow but I mean we won this one oh yeah we're about halfway through our season nice. and yet again Spectre has come out on top if you haven't heard of this kid you should have it's his first season, but from his performance tonight, you couldn't tell. He slugged his way through some serious talent to oh, take yeah. the prize tonight. And I bet we'll see him back in the factory later. It's been a heck of a game. This is Duncan Fisher from the factory. Indeed, it's been a heck of a match. That was kind of cool. Uh, wow. And we're kind of popular with Steiner also. Um, I don't know. Let's go to... Uh, we'll, we'll get a new mech, of course, for the next match. Uh, I think we do double match this time because we're so... We, I don't think this took too much time. And here we have a dragon. That's from the... Uh, as you know... Or if, if you are new watching this series, uh, then I can tell you that uh, I have a downloadable pack called Mech Pack, very popular in the days. Uh, and I also have mods enabling getting the Mech Pack mechs inside, um, well, the main game. And the Mech Pack mechs aren't uh, overpowered, they're generally very balanced, so you can finally use them along with all the other mechs. Uh, so basically, I try out all the mechs that I don't really know uh, already. And of course, I know much about uh, Mad Cat, Nova Cat, Thantos, Thor, Vulture, all the, all the standards. But I want to test out also the mechs that are new to me also. So isn't that nice? No. No. Wrong buttons. Mech lab, and we will go to our newly bought Dragon 70. We'll repaint it into gold because I don't know. No, oh, no, no, no. Group. Okay. Um, we have an AC5 medium laser and a little missile launcher there. Okay. Let us check some tonnage here. Uh, 91 could decrease the speed slightly to be able to have um, well lamps shoot thousands missiles using lasers and then we can see here the outer cannon 5 damage 2 120 shots and the laser 800 300 600 Okay, so we will uh, group the weapons some more. On number three, I think we'll also have the only the outer cannon five, and then we have the. Oh no, that's a good setup. Then we could uh, basically long range setup. All right, uh, we'll go for Colosseum, and that is uh, for me a hard arena. Let us go down here and select the Dragon T Dragon 70. This is the Steiner Colosseum. All hail Steiner. And let's launch. Silesia is a beehive today as people scramble for the Colosseum. Oh my this god. This is Duncan Fisher. Oh my this god. This heavy match looks like a battle of powerhouses. Steiner's own Ellie Meals is on the field, and you can tell the home crowd is going crazy. But we have a rookie who has really made an impression here. He goes by Spectre, and many in the crowd are hoping he takes the victory. It Indeed. should be one heck of a fight. Thank you, Duncan Fisher. I love you too. Oh, it's damn it, that's time. a close one. Um, so, basically, bam! Have a gauss. Ouch, 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 
Ouch, ouch, ouch. No, 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 no. This is closer than I like to have my enemies. There she is, Ellie She has exploded into action this season. This is her third season, and not many people thought she could deliver the quality performance she's been doing recently. She's turned sluggishness into ice cold action, and her aim has gone off the charts. She just doesn't miss these. Feng Sheng. Oh, that's that. That person. Of the heavy season. You have some folks who say that heavy mechs require less skill than other mechs. The fact is that any pilot out there tonight is a powerhouse player. Sure, you can kill a mech fast with the amount of weapons you can pack. But a skilled pilot knows how to use terrain. Sometimes you win, sometimes Boom. you don't. That guy is out of here. <laughs> Our left leg is basically down. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's. Okay, now we basically could hold fire. Oh no. I like the sound of the Auto Cannon 5. If I don't remember incorrectly. Come on, lock on. Okay. Come on, lock on. A survey a couple of years back said that most fans prefer the heavy fights. It really surprised some folks back then because people sort of assumed assault class. It's so slow. But it makes sense. You've got all the fancy toys. The Outer Cannon 5 has a really slow uh, fire. A mech that can actually move. Some say assault class is the thinking man's game. You have time to line up your shot against a target that can only do so much dodging. Oh no. But for years I've been saying I prefer heavy fights. Just nice to hear the experts back. It looks like Spectre wants to take first today. He's just nailed his second pilot for the match. Oh yeah. I should have nailed more. No, we should have locked on. We just fire in the bunch here. Come on. Now we only have the cannon left here. Kapow! I've taken some black this season for saying that Ellie Neals is not the pilot to be. Ste kill steal. One more example of it. At her best, she is really something. She has some pizzazz, some skills, and can really ruin a pilot's day. I think we have 650 but range. She is not consistent. I know Bam. she took out an amazing Shoot five us. mechs two weeks ago in the sands, but she is streakish. Man, Spectre has got some good eyes. Thor. He keeps nailing his shots tonight. Three down, all because they've been in his crosshairs, which is a very dangerous place to be. Okay, let's see if we can take this one too. Boom. Ouch. And there you go. Have it at. Heavy gals. I kind of like the heavy gals, I must say. Actually, I kind of like the dragon. It's a nice mech. Miss. Aha. No. Come on. You're not running away from me, Thor. Get down. Boom. Oh, and that's it. Oh my god. Colosseum, give me glory. Has won on the sands again. This kid is dynamite and has broken the stranglehold of Steiner domination on their home arena. He seems pretty much unstoppable <laughs> down here today. People are on their feet Lel. and stand still hollering. This is Solaris at its best. I can just bet we're going to see more great things from But Spectre I this dedicated this my victory. Fisher, live from the stands. Well, like you anyways, Duncan Fisher. Okay, plus three to Steiner. Mech stat is damaged. Mech Rabu. I'll repair that one. Just a million. <laughs> no money. Okay, free market. But, uh, <laughs> we didn't get so much money. Oh my god. Uh, anyways, let's sell off some missiles and we get rich again. Look, not that many. A million. Cool. And we can sell some of these. And we get a million too. Nice. And that's always nice. 
Uh, the regular PPC could sell some of those. And <laughs> heavy laser, heavy large laser. <laughs> but the range is kind of good of it. 500, I mean. That's uh, some damage anyways, uh, and that's nice. Rocket launchers. Well, they're worth nothing. <laughs> Artemis and Thunderbolt. Oh yeah, that's where we spend all our money. Well, I guess we will say enough of this economy talk, and I'll be back next time in... Mech Warrior 4 Mercenaries. So I hope I will catch you that time too, and well... Have a good one.